Why, you, know why, you know why people are so overweight in America compared to Europe when I go over there in Europe? When I walk around Europe, like, you don't see somebody that's like 600 pounds or 500 pounds. Like, you just don't see that. You, you might see somebody that has like a little pot belly and they're like 50 or 60 because they drink beer, like too much beer. But over there, from what I understand, in most of those countries, they've outlawed the GMOs in the food system. I, I don't know about all the countries, but in several of them, they've outlawed GMOs. No, GMOs do not make you fatter. They're just genetically modified. There's not a fruit that you can get at the grocery store that is not genetically modified. Selective breeding is technically genetic modification. It's a broad term. But why do Europeans tend to be a little bit more slim than the average American? Well, there's several reasons. Number one is gonna be step count. People in Western Europe tend to get over 6,000 steps per day, where the average American might get 4,500 to 5,000, and that is including big cities like New York. Outside of those big walkable cities, though, we still have a lot of small towns, a lot of you know, suburban areas where we're just getting around by car and we go park, go walk into a restaurant, and that's it. Number two is going to be portion size. Americans tend to eat bigger meals, around 50% bigger. And when you're scarfing down food because Americans like to eat at a faster pace than Europeans, it doesn't give your brain time to signal for satiety or feeling full. What that leads to is more overeating overall. Third thing is our food overall, but it's nothing to do with the chemicals that are added. It's nothing to do with GMOs. It's simply just the fact that we have a more available selection of snack foods, things that are not gonna be as satiating. Also the access to processed foods versus whole foods is a lot easier in America versus somewhere like Europe. They still have hyper-processed foods and shit in Europe. What do you think bread is? The difference is, is that hyper-processed foods in America are, tend to be a little bit cheaper than whole foods here. Now, processed foods aren't making you fat, but what they tend to do is they strip away a lot of key vitamins, nutrients, things like that that are going to allow you to get fuller faster. And when you're fuller faster, you eat less. But when all that's stripped away, you eat more. Connect the fucking dots. So... I think that in America, there is a really big thing to shove the responsibility away from yourself and just blame the government and blame these big corporations when seriously, it still just comes down to calories in, calories out. It does not matter what you eat, you can eat fucking Twinkies all day and still lose weight as long as calories are equated.